In this movie, we're going to show you how to import from Vulkan uh, a couple of files. One is going to be the lithography. It has the drill hole ID, the thickness. It has a couple of names here. We're going to refer to this ultimately as the description, the strata name, the key status, zero being non-key, one being key, and the horizon will be converted to the bed name and that's saved under this name and let's see what we got here then we have the collar CSV file which has the drill hole name which is the index variable and we have the coordinate for the northing, easting and elevation and we're going to import these two files into Carlson I'm going to close out of that minimize that at this point, we'll go into the defined drill hole, and we have a um, ch file that we're going to create here. So I'm going to open this up, and we're going to bring this data in by thickness, and that's basically all we have to do at this point. There's actually no buttons here that have to be pushed. Hit save, and now we're going to go to drill hole, import, export, drill hole, import, now we're going to use the custom import formatter. We are going to use separate drill hole and strata names here and this is different than bringing it straight in just from a spreadsheet where they're all together. These are in separate files because they're coming from Vulkan. And now we have to find the right uh, file and where I'm coming from at this point is out on a thumb drive so I need to browse for it. And if I come out here to removable drive and look in there, I can see that I have the first uh, request here is for the collar or the survey data. And that is this file right here. And we're going to open that up. The second file is going to be for the strata or the lithography file and we're going to open that up right here open that up and now we just basically have to match up the data that's listed down here according to the header in the order that we have it so we go to drill hole name add we have the northing which is right here add that easting which is right there and the surface elevation which is right there this is a comma separated file. There's one header line to skip, nothing else to do. Hit OK. In this next uh, lithology file, I'll just remove everything that's over here and then we'll match up. This is the drill hole name right here. Add that. The interval is actually the strata thickness and that'll be right here. The L unit is, we indicated we were going to refer to that as a description and let's see if we have a description in here anywhere um, I don't see a description per se so what we'll do is we'll create one we'll just add an attribute and we'll call it DESC for description and we'll hit OK it'll change strata to strata so it's a strata variable the drill hole variable would be things such as any data referring to the full drill hole like total depth would be a drill hole variable. At this point we have the L code which we're going to refer to as the strata name. Just redefine that right there. And the col KY is col key which is a strata key non-key. You always use reserved names if they exist over here. And you wouldn't want to put in Cole KY. The program would have no intelligence to recognize that, but it does understand what this is. Then we have Horizon, which is going to equate by definition to our bed name. And at this point, we've got a comma separated file. Header line to skip is one. Everything else is set up. Hit OK. And now we should see that we imported 635 drill holes. And at this point, we'll type in Z and then E, excuse me, E, and we'll see all the drill holes that we have. 
Now, when we zoom in on this and we start looking at our data, we'll check it to see what we have. So then I'll go down to the drill hole data sheet and I'm just going to select a sample. And then we'll see the hole name, northing, easting, elevation. Let me pull this all up into the view. Then we have the lithology over here based on the strata name. And then over here, we'll have bed names associated with this. And it appears that what we brought in looks all right. I think we have a reasonable input.